Now, Ed Schultz is choosing to put the focus somewhere else. Ed Schultz did a segment yesterday where he held up uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, the recently released video game Grand Theft Auto 5. And Ed Schultz actually blamed Grand Theft Auto as well as special interest groups for the mass shootings. Uh, Raw Story has a report about this, and it says that MSNBC host Ed Schultz expressed sympathy with gun owners on Tuesday while lashing out at special interest groups and the makers of the video game Grand Theft Auto 5, Rockstar Games, accusing them of helping to foment a political atmosphere that stifles discussion on stricter gun safety laws. I have to tell you, Lewis, I am open to exploring absolutely anything that might be considered a aggravating factor in creating shootings. However, we've had conversations on this program with numerous academic experts on the effect of violence in movies, news and video games on real world violence. We've explored the concept pretty, pretty significantly over a period of many years. And I am not aware of any connection and no academic expert has told me about any connection. I think it works the opposite way. I believe that it is it is very clear that when Drudge Report, for example, runs a headline saying Navy shooter obsessed with violent video games, I guess it was uh, I forget what game it was that he was obsessed with Lewis, but one of the, the shooters that's around right now to me, I that never suggests to me that the video games cause the violence. What it suggests to me is that individuals who are already predisposed to violence or who are otherwise disturbed in any number of ways are drawn to play the games. They are drawn to play the games, but that the violent tendencies would be there regardless. I think it is a distraction to start focusing on Grand Theft Auto. I really do. Right. Maybe Ed Schultz would argue that the, the two feed on each other and that uh, and that the video game might plant ideas in the, the head of a person who's predisposed to violence. But overall, I mean, clearly the research indicates that video games do not make people more violent. And I think Ed Schultz is, is obnoxious to begin with. And this just kind of pushes him over the edge for me. Not to mention that, but if we really want to take a step back and think about it, the argument is there are guns in Grand Theft Auto and therefore that would encourage gun violence. There are uh, swords and knives, right? Swords, axes and knives in games like World of Warcraft, Guild Wars, etc. And by the way, swords, axes and knives are infinitely easier to obtain than our firearms. Yet you never hear knife attacks or sword attacks tracked back to World of Warcraft or Guild Wars. So I think that I'm committed to exploring the sources of gun violence. You know this is important, Lewis. We talk about it all the time. But I really think that focusing on video games as a cause of violence is just not a productive uh, use of time. Right. It's like making excuses. Once again, we really have to go back to, to mental health.